engineers team up to build the first ever origami plant-inspired robot. Built to go where conventional robots can't, these bots will mimic how plants grow with an origami trunk and branches with sensors that monitor and collect data and live in the wild. Find out what it looks like and how it will work on NSF Science now. When we think of bio-inspired robots, we usually think of robot arms modeled after human arms, or robots inspired by animals with specific characteristics, like this fast-running cheetah robot. But we haven't traditionally thought of plants as robots. Plants grow and move all around us without us ever really noticing. They move in lots of interesting ways that we don't see. Now, NSF-supported Clemson University electrical and computer engineers are teaming up with mechanical engineers at Virginia Tech to create the first-ever origami plant-inspired robots. What the reason we decided to go with a plant mimicking growing robot is that we see there was lots of demand outside for environmental monitoring. These plant robots will go where conventional robots can't and grow, adapt, and survive in the wild over the long haul. So we're designing robots that uh, grow in, in a way that's inspired by plants. And the idea of these robots is that they go outside in outdoor environments over long periods and can observe and record things in ways that robots and conventional technology can't. They will take on plant characteristics like how sunflowers move with the sun or vines wind around a tree. These robots will grow, move, and adapt, blending with the ever-changing surroundings, like plants, all while monitoring the environment. The basic idea is that we're growing something that's inspired by plants. So there is part that is going to be inspired by the trunks, which is represented here, and part that is inspired by the branches and the leaves, which is represented here. The branches and the tendrils, the leaves that emerge, the robotic leaves, they will have sensors, either from the top or through the sides, uh, depending upon the application of what we want to do. And then there are sensors at the tip, and out comes the, the tendril branch or foliage. It looks around, and the sensor does its stuff. We want to grow both potentially the trunk and the tendrils out, and we want to monitor whatever it is we're looking at. Inspired by the ancient Chinese art of origami, Lee and his team at Virginia Tech are building the origami trunk. We can gradually unfold that structure and then pop it up into a permanent load-bearing structure like a cylindrical shape, and then it can collect data all the time in a very energy-efficient and self-sufficient way. Meanwhile, Walker and his team at Clemson are focusing on creating the vines. The, the branches and the tendrils, the leaves that emerge, the robotic leaves, they will have sensors. We'll have chemical sensors to look at pollution events, for example, when we're trying to identify the, the causes and the effects of pollution. When we're looking at natural environments, uh, we will probably have cameras that will look at animals, for example. Whether running for days or weeks, a huge challenge for any instrumentation that has to endure for long periods in the wilderness is how to keep it powered and functional. And so part of the project is looking at energy harvesting. So we're looking at the idea, for example, of having uh, solar cells, which we can orient with the plant to the sun, and so we can charge ourselves. And we're also looking at using wind energy. So basically, as the wind moves to our, our flexible leaves and branches, then we can collect energy in that way and store it in the battery. Eventually, the collaborative team hopes to build a new breed of robots that can adapt, collect data, and monitor slow-changing processes like temperature, humidity, and even wildfires, protecting our environment from afar.